Hi, today I'm going to take you through installing Docker and installing our Bootcamp Docker image that you'll need for our Bootcamp training sessions and you can use for our Bootcamp CTF on Windows. So first thing we want to do is just go to your web browser of choice and search git docker. And we're just going to go to the first result there. We're going to click Docker Desktop for Windows and then download from Docker Hub. And then over on this side, we want to click Get Stable. You can get Edge if you want, but there's no real reason to. I'm going to go ahead and download this. I already have it, so I'm not going to complete the download, but just download it to whatever folder you want. And then in your Explorer, you just want to go to Docker Desktop Installer. That'll prompt you for um, either your credentials or just click yes and no. Just go ahead and hit yes on that. On this screen, we want to keep both of these options checked and then hit OK. And it'll take a minute to install, so I'm going to speed that up. OK, we'll get a message saying installation succeeded. You can go ahead and close. And then you will have a shortcut on your desktop. I just dragged that from off screen. Uh, that says Docker Desktop, so just go ahead and double click that. And you'll see Docker is starting. And then it may take about a minute, and you'll see Docker Desktop is running, and then this window will pop up. So we're going to go ahead and just hit Skip Tutorial. You can go ahead and open a new terminal. I'm using PowerShell, but CMD will also work. And we're not going to do this. Instead, we're going to close that. And we're going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to get into the directory I want to be in. We're going to do docker dash dash help, just to check and make sure we have it. If you don't see this, something went wrong in your install. Um, but otherwise, you should have docker installed. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. Okay, so in this window now what we'll want to do is pull the boilers bootcamp docker image. So we're going to go docker pull boilers slash bootcamp dash 2020. That's the name of the image. And that'll pull from Docker Hub. So this will take a couple minutes. I'm going to speed up through this. All right, now that our Docker image has downloaded, let's go ahead and run it. So we're going to go docker run dash dash name. Now here you can specify whatever name you want. I'm just going to call it bootcamp dash demo. Um, but this will be the name that your local Docker install has associated with this running image. So you can stop it by this name later and then restart it. We also need to forward a couple of ports to the image. So we're going to go dash p 6901 colon 6901 dash p 8888 8888 and then 5003 and 5901 then we can also specify dash dash env vnc resolution that's vnc underscore resolution if you can't see it equals whatever your width of your web browser you want to be by whatever the height of your web browser is. So in my case, I'm going to go 1240 by 720 uh, because I want to make sure that this fits comfortably inside your web browser. The default is 1920 by 1080. That may be a bit big for some monitors. And then uh, boilers slash bootcamp dash 2020. So that'll start up. We'll get a message saying started. Connect a new web browser with localhost colon 6901. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then it also says the password is password. And it is. We just go ahead and type in password. And here we have our bootcamp Docker image. Make sure that's centered on screen. 
this is a full working Linux install. If we click here, we'll get a terminal, and then we can uh, do everything that you normally would in your terminal. So this has all the software installed that we'll be using throughout the boot camp. Um, so make sure to get this running and let us know on Discord if you have any issues.